Good morning on Bank Holiday Monday, and here's a rare sight. My two cats is eating together. Isn't that so cute? Yo, hungry kittens. So, good morning, a proper. A proper. She's on what? Can you see she's on my There we go. My little bub. Azumi is still eating. She finishes off her own breakfast and then she finishes off Shizuma's as well. Because she's a little tub. It's okay though, because Shizuma prefers the crunch anyway. Azumi likes the gravy. Yes. Hi, to a good morning. Hmm. I didn't realise that my cold water from the tap is actually warm. <laughs> Getting used to the taps here, see, you have to turn it round to cold. Not just wait for it to get warm, which is what our old house was like. Anyways, breakfast this morning is served on um, a saucer because many years ago, Tesco, I think it was, whoever was selling Denby at the time, was selling off Denby saucers for like 20 pence each, so mum bought like... 15 of them, even though she doesn't have 15 cups to go with them. So I'm making use of them because otherwise they're just gonna sit there again for years. So there we are. And breakfast is seriously low carb toast or is seriously low carb bread uh, that I have toasted. Shizuma, she wants the sweeties. Jejuma, that you, you've been caught. <laughs> so it's seriously low carb bread that I've toasted and that's the the name of the brand, seriously low carb, well, with some um, skinny food company jam on it as well. Don't give me funny looks, kitten. Today is a Monday, but it's a bank holiday Monday, but I'm still going to treat it sort of as a Monday, half Monday, as in I'm going to do my post. Um, because the spa is always open, means that I can always drop off my post, and obviously I can just put some stuff in the box. So I'm going to do my post today. I've had one absolutely brilliant sale, which I'm really chuffed about. And then I'm not going to go swimming today, because the place that I go swimming in is a hotel, an hotel, an hotel. Um, and so there will still be guests there from the bank holiday weekend enjoying their spa weekend and they have a spa day today on a bank holiday as well so there'll be people in my pool how dare they anyways I shall be back soon with my uh, weekend sale and my absolutely fabulous sale which is pretty much like half of my weeks taken in like one crazy anyways back soon Hello, I'm back. So I've got my stuff together that I've got to post. Skip forward a few minutes if like you don't care or just less than a few minutes if you want to know what like the really big oh, item is that I sold. Anyways, I listed some gold over the weekend. Never normally do that, but I know like my, my sales needed a little bit of a nudge and also I'm not a particular fan of selling gold on eBay because you know, I don't know, it just sometimes feels a bit weird. Anyways, I did list some gold, um, just a few pairs of earrings and stuff. So here's some. So this is some uh, nine carat yellow gold door knocker earrings. They went for 80 pounds and 99 pence. And then these little half hoop ones with like little stripes across, they went for 39.99. The vintage Samsonite suitcase. That was my friend Steve's Grands. Um, that sold for $29.99, although I did slightly underestimate the postage, I think, on that one. So that'll eat into the profits a bit, but never mind. Um, an abalone pendant necklace, $8.99. A um, platinum plated Marks and Spencer's Parve solitaire ring, £13.19. There's white milk glass beaded necklace, vintage necklace, £6.79. This red glass beaded necklace, £10. There's 
Glass Millefiore Pendant Necklace, uh, £17. This lovely turquoise and gold mesh. I love the, like those two colours together. I think they're fab. I know I've said that before. Uh, went for £12.99. This lovely Sphinx Pendant Necklace. Um, I've had that before just as a solo pendant as well, and that always sells, but that went for £13. A pair of Christian Dior clip-on earrings. So we've got little, they're like flame shapes with little sparkles then. £25, a Mariner Link, see the chunky Mariner Link collar necklace, £10.19. A Swatch Watch from 2004, sold us Spares Repair, probably just need a new battery in it, £13. A Las Vegas Madame Two Swords keyring. See, it's got all like poker chips and things like that on it, and dye and stuff. Uh, Seven ninety nine. A Festival of Britain nineteen fifty one keychain has obviously gone to a collector because uh, their name is um, suggests as such. Nine ninety nine. A nephrite jade swirly pendant. Eleven ninety nine. I'll come back to the next one in a second. Um, a Harrods key ring, £6.50. And hello to the purchaser of that. And I think they're just in the process of paying for this now. But uh, some Guinness cufflinks from the 50s went for £11. And my huge sale of the weekend. Huge. Let me just get back to the... Is my lovely... Cherry amber necklace. Beautiful. Beautiful. With now I said rolled gold in the thing, but there's um like as the clasp that is a possibility it could actually be proper gold. Um but yeah, lovely um amber, cherry amber, beautiful. And I had it hand knotted at my jewellers in town. Um, and that, the hand knotting cost me £40, I think. Um, but the actual necklace itself, I think, cost me about a pound or two pounds, something like that. Um, it wasn't knotted before, I think. Or at least, no, I don't think it was. Anyways, that went for £429.99. pence. Of which eBay took like £68, but okay, what can you do, eh? What can you do? So still a nice tidy profit on that, though. Um, and it's not going abroad for once as well. I know last week's one didn't go abroad either. Hello. Um, but normally when I sell amber, it tends to go abroad somewhere. So yeah, two in a row that are staying in this country. That's, you know, unusual. Anyways, um, I'm going to package all this up. I'm going to have fun doing the suitcase or I might just sellotape it up and stick label on it because suitcases are meant for traveling aren't they they're heavy duty you wouldn't bubble wrap your own suitcase when you were going on a long haul flight would you and that's only going like no so yeah I'll just stick label on it it'd be fine yay right yeah I'm gonna crack on and do that now packing all done What's happened to the telly? Yes, I'm returning my telly. I've got no box to put it in, although I might, that's the box from like one of the beds. So that's gonna be too big for it, but I might use some of the cardboard to wrap around it. Amazon weren't all that concerned about um, how to send it back. They were like, oh, I'll just put a bin line around it. I'm like, um, okay. But um, yeah, yesterday it started just like freezing and glitching and turning off by itself. I Googled it and it's a known problem with this Oh, such a shame. So sending Tally back, going to get a different one. But in the meantime, I'm going to have another coffee. Yay. Right, it's time for me to get dressed now. I've come upstairs, just wondering where Shizuma might be. Can you spot her at all? Hmm? Yes, yeah, she's taken to doing this now. Hey, yo! <laughs> He's such a cutie. Hey, nice and warm. Silly bean. 
Hello, I'm at the old house and I'm going to hit those shells with this hammer. Hammer work done. Now I've popped into town and just um, donated like a trolley load into the charity shop and stuff. I'm gonna have a quick little look, obviously, around the charity shops in town and then head home for a bit of food because I'm feeling a bit peckish. Charity shop's done. We, I may have bought about half a trolley load of jewellery. Forty-three pounds, I spent. Ooh, you've got a bad exhaust. <laughs> Anyways, I'm nearly home. Gonna get some lunch, and then I may go live with the jewellery and baggings. We shall see. You. So this is my charity shop haul for today for $1.99, this super cute little Japanese like trinket box thing with mirror and it's signed at the bottom but I can't quite make out. Blue this, I don't know. This little necklace, little possibly Venetian necklace which is quite cute, some fused glass in there, three uh, picture frames for pictures from my wall and a big pile of jewellery for £43. This is lunch today, rather beige I know, but it's um, a low carb sausage roll and some cheesies and a tango. Well, hey. It's a bit later, I'm just warming up and um, 
put a film on the telly, we'll see if it glitches. I mean, it's still going back anyway, but you know, I've got to pack that up tonight because Mr. Hermes will be round tomorrow to pick it up. Been prepping tonight's tea. So in here, I'm just roasting some peppers and onions. We'll do some chicken as well. Some taters for me mum. Some brock and some beans and maybe some kale. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to make for tea tonight. So just warming up a bit, put heating on as a special treat because um, it's a little bit chilly in the house today. Uh, yeah, anyways, back in a bit when, um, when tea's ready. There you go. One chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. Guess who? A few hours later. Is still under there. Shizuma. Seriously? Oh. Do you know what? I might just get in with it for you, with you for a little bit. We can have a little cuddle. This is my new mattress, by the way. It is solid like a brick. Oofed. I think we're gonna say good night to the blog. That she's my off. You okay, kid then? So yeah. Um I'm actually a bit warm now. That's nice. Uh, oh. Maybe time for a little post chicken dinner now. Anyways, yep, that's it for me for today. Hope you've enjoyed. I shall be back soon, hopefully with some more jewellery and baggings if they come pretty quick. You never know. Mm. Anyways, till next time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.